in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why women have the highest divorce rate. It don't matter if it's two women married to one another. It don't matter if it's a woman married to a man. The current divorce rate is almost 50% of marriages end in divorce. Because what I'm talking about today will shock you. And out of those divorces, 70 to 90% of those divorces are filed by women. Seems like women have a very easy time walking away from marriage, but I wonder why. Let's talk about it. Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I've said it time and time before. I'm always going to stand with the word of the Most High Yah over the word of the rebellious. I've said it before, man. Women are very deceptive. And furthermore, they have normalized their deception. Nobody calls out Jezebel today if it's their mama, if it's their grandmama, if it's their aunties, if it's their own wife, because all this stuff is normalized. And I'm just using this as a foundation. Women are so comfortable in being deceptive that they can go put on a wig, a whole bunch of fake hair, put on a face full of makeup that don't even match their damn complexion, and then ask you, do you like it? And you say, yeah. And, you, and they ask you, does it look good? You say, yeah. So she knows that the deception is working. And not only uh, as a man, you begin to lust after it. But David said, I hate every false way. And today, man, this female psychologist that is releasing this proves how proves how deceptive women are and they've been that way since the beginning of time so when i say women are being exposed women are tired of there's women out there that are having such a hard time finding a man because of the lawlessness of the rest of the women, they're saying, how am I standing with you? No, I'm exposing you. The Most High Yah told us to expose evil works. Man, it's always funny how a woman will pretty much project onto you and you not realize it, but she's really projecting by her trying to give you all these boundaries and the controlling woman, the Jezebel, who is not submissive, who's not modest, who's not meek, she will try to control your hand as a man. You better not be talking to no other women. Why you look at her like that? Why you do this like that? That's all it is, is projection. But this female psychologist cracked it wide open with a study that was conducted proving that 50% of married women have backup men. And this is why when you women women try to uh, cry, say, we don't know why men ain't approaching us. And we, don't, we see the spirit of Jezebel on you. And rather than get washed with the word and get deliverance, you go to your backup guy. And how did this, how did they come up with these results? They came up with these results via social media habits. You know, when you start looking at the neuroscience habit, you know, a naive woman, you know, take Eve for example, is so naive, but wants to be a god or a goddess so bad, that's how Hasatan tempted her you'll be like a god. She couldn't see the snare was set. 
social media exposes the hypocrisy of women, you know? And this psychologist revealed that these women have these men that are their backup plan. 50% of married women have at least one backup man. So let, let, let's get this right. If you try to hold her accountable as a wife and she doesn't want to be, this is when she will act like she's checked out. Oh, I don't have to deal with this anyway. This is why. Man, time is it, it, surely exposing the reprobate minds of women, the hypocrisy of women, the double-mindedness of women. And I told you, I've been saying this stuff for a while. Women get mad at a man for what they deem as cheating, but women get out here and support women being side pieces. Like, that, that, that's hypocrisy. So I'll go ahead and play that video and take it, take it for what it's worth. You had a woman that knows she will get crucified by the sisterhood for revealing this kind of stuff. You know, that woman, she might want to, hey, she gonna need some protective custody. Now these women, uh, they gonna come for her head and you didn't reveal something like this, outed the women or, or broke the sister code. I tell you, man, it's truly wicked. And I believe what the book says, a virtuous woman is truly rare. All these women that put on these white robes and have uh, uh, have defiled themselves, a lot of these women are whores, a lot of them are harlots, a lot of them are Jezebels, Delilahs. And it's a there is a, a, a kind of conduct that goes with Jezebel. There's a spirit behind the name. And a lot of these women that's doing this conduct themselves as such. Roll that footage. Close to the Yah Ministries kicking that thing. Gun, barrel, straight. Wow. Relationship. Should you really have a backup plan? There is new research that shows half of all women have a guy on the back burner just in case things go wrong in their current relationship. Physician and national mindful living expert Dr. Romy Mushtak is here to talk more about that. Dr. Romy, seriously? Good morning, Tom. I know. and I Come on, like this sounds positively guy. Guy, doesn't it? And I have to sit here and defend all of us women, but this is the <laughs> latest psychology research. I was just as shocked reading this data. More than half of women who are married. Married. Happily married happily women are doing married, this? Have a backup plan. And what is a backup plan? It means you have someone on the back burner so like, a specific person a they've specific identified. person that they've identified. And in most cases, it was either an ex-boyfriend or an old friend who never made it to the dating category. Get out of town. Unfortunately. We're in a relationship. Get out of town. Unfortunately, yes. And, and the problem is, is social media has just made it too easy to have such a type of behavior. Right. So I know you're here to say, though, yes, watch out because this Absolutely. is anything but good. It is. I agree. You know, mindset matters in relations. We're in a lot of town. Unfortunately.